hello friends in this video i am going to show you how to create a uh, custom widgets in pega see uh, when you launch any user portal or your custom portal you will be landed on the dashboard page you will be landed on the dashboard page now in the dashboard page in the latest versions of the pega the dashboard page is uh, a combination of widgets dashboard page is a combination of widgets this is case entered by me or work queues so all these things are nothing but a widgets in pega okay for example this is work list now see here there is an icon uh, personalize the dashboard just click on this one here see the current template is two template two column template switch template if you want you can switch a template as well either three column template or whatever you want see like this uh, but currently I, I am my template is having the two column template now let me select uh, for example this one okay now publish Now I have a four slots. Earlier we have a two slots. Now I have a four slots. Slot one, slot two, slot three, slot four. This is my publish. I just selected another template here. Okay. This is my another template. So like this, in this way you can also switch to your templates. But now Click on again personalize the dashboard. Each and every slot slot is having a widgets. Now see all these are widgets, work queues and level one of achievements, etc. All these are cases entered by me. All these are nothing but a widgets. Now if you want, you can add a new widget as well. Now what I am doing for slot three, I am just adding a one widget. So here by default, these are the different types of widgets. These are the different types of widgets. All these are the widget categories, case management, data management, information, uh, manage change, reporting, etc. All these are nothing but a widget categories and each and every category having different types of widget. If you want, you just, you can just select add a selected widget now i have selected this widget to the slot 3 and you just click on publish what happened uh, it's not loaded click on add widget For example, team members add select. Okay, now team members just click on publish or publish to team and publish to default. We have a different types of options as well. Okay, now this is now similarly. I want to create my own widget. So when I click on this one. So I want to create my own widget and I want to show it on my dashboard. How do you do this? For example, if I am not aware of this one, I don't know how to do this. Okay. Uh, from the Pega tool itself, we can learn. From the Pega tool itself, we can learn. Because uh, there is a such a requirement. I am not aware of this. How to do this? What I am going to do? See. Click on sorry no need to do this one select a live ui simply discard not required select a live ui discard
So now I am going to create my own widget. Select a live UI. I am learning how to do this from the existing widgets. Okay. Uh, for example, just click here. See this one. Uh, what is the widget name? PY. PY team members. See this one. Uh, PY team members widget. See this one. PY team members widget. Remember this. Uh, widget is not a separate control. Internally it is a section. Internally it is a section. Now I am opening that section. PY team members widget. Okay. Now what I am going to do. I am just clicking save as. I am just clicking save as. This is nothing but a section. See this section. But I am going to save as this one. Okay. PY team members widget, right? SBI app widget. I am just giving and no branch. I am selecting as usually rule set version. Okay, SBI app widget, click on create and open. See my section, my SBI widget section is also SBI app widget section is also same like this only but what I am doing is I am just changing okay let it be time being but uh, you have to change one thing just go to the settings here see this one dashboard widget normally when you open any section this is a standard section standard section but here in the settings uh, you have to select it as a dashboard widget okay now Widget title is uh, SBI Apple Widget. Okay, now widget description. This is nothing but a field value. If you want, you can create your own description as well. So, now what I am going to do is uh, uh, SBI SBI Widget DESE. Just click on create and open. I am going to create a widget description. So PY caption, etc. Blah blah blah. Okay, uh, this is SBI widget section details, etc. Okay, see, you can give whatever the description you want. Now come back to come back to here now category is it a because I already mentioned right we have a different types of categories is it a case management category information category etc let it be case management category if you want to provide any separate icon to your widget also you can select you can select a widget icon Okay, uh, you can find a lot of images now here. So I am just giving this is my SBI widget icon. Okay, now just click on save and check in blah 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 now what i am going to do uh, let me launch the portal again
okay now click on select uh, now add a widget for slot 4 i want to add a widgets okay where is my sbi widgets uh, Okay, where is my SPA widgets? Anything what we have to do? We just already checked out. This is PYT members widget, right? And any settings extra need to be applied? Nothing. SBA app widget. So let me log off or sometimes do we need to restart i don't think so uh, launch a portal uh, user portal dashboard we add a widget see this one sba apple widget now what i am going to do i am going to add here at slot number four at slot number four now sbi apple widget and this is sbi widget description and this is the icon and probably i think uh, you might have given the proper description so like this uh, all this is this is nothing but a description now select add widget that's it and click on publish click on publish so now if you want you can change it as well because you can create your own widget uh, like this okay, where is your widget sbi app widget so this is nothing but a section right the main thing is what is the difference between a widget and a normal section in the settings uh, you must select it as a dashboard widget it is not like a design template or it is not like a standard section but okay but it is a dashboard widget uh, now why it is uh, uh, not fetching the description data portal pyk this is nothing but a description okay now if you want you can change this as well you can create your own sections all these things you can do it yourself here so uh, delete uh, i can embedded my own section so whatever the content you want to present uh, as per your business requirement uh, you can design your widget like this okay now just uh, embedded section Okay. So just this one stages report. This is my assuming this is my widget. I just want to make some customization in my existing. Say check in. now launch the portal again go to the dashboard c 
see this one this is your SBI widget right now if you want you can add so in real time sometimes uh, if you want to create your own widget also this concept will be useful for you now I want to add a new widget here now what is this SBI Apple widget now select here now see this one this is the updated content right click on publish I hope you understand this video the main concept here is in the settings it should be a dashboard widget and you have to give all this description thank you